How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel in today's video i am going to show you some really useful and hidden features that has been added in one ui 5.1 if you own a samsung galaxy phone then trust me this video is going to be super useful for you with that being said stay tuned and watch this video till the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one so drop a like leave a comment and let's get started First let me show you a very useful feature that's been added in Samsung Gallery. If I just go to the gallery, tap on this menu button, then select settings. Here if you scroll down, you get this option called about gallery. Just go inside and tap on this build number for 11 times. Now if you go back, you'll get this brand new option called gallery labs. Simply open and now with One UI 5.1, we have got a new toggle called support save as PDF. Once you turn it on you will be able to convert multiple pictures in your gallery as PDF file. Let me show you how it actually works. To do this first you need to select multiple pictures and then tap on this option called create. Now you see at the bottom there is a new option called save as PDF. Just click on it and all your images gets converted into a PDF file and it gets saved inside the files app. I think it's a very useful feature that helps you to convert all your images into a PDF file. Next, if I swipe down and open my notification panel, here I've got a brand new toggle for taking screenshots. So when I want to take any screenshot, I just need to swipe down and tap on this toggle. If you really don't want to use the physical buttons for taking screenshots, then you can add this extra toggle in your quick settings. Just tap on this three dots, select edit buttons, and here you will find a brand new button for taking screenshots. Simply drag it onto your quick settings. Since we are talking about screenshots, did you know with One UI 5.1, you can now change the location of all the screenshots you have taken on your Samsung phone. All you have to do is go to Settings, then Advanced Features, then tap on Screenshots and Screen Recorder. Here you will see a new option that lets you change the location where the screenshots and screen recordings are saved. I really like how Samsung added these additional gestures that helps you to easily open apps in a pop-up window. I just need to swipe from the top right and it opens that application in a pop-up window. This was introduced with One UI 5, but One UI 5.1 further improves on this and now you can swipe back to the corner like this to make the app go back to the full screen. I just love how easily you can do multitasking on your Samsung phone. I'm sure you're not going to find these amazing features on any other Android smartphone. Next, if you go to settings, select modes and routines, now you can set different wallpapers for different modes. For example, if you go into the work mode, here if you scroll down, it lets you to choose a custom wallpaper for this particular mode, which means whenever this mode gets activated, the wallpaper will change automatically according to the mode that you have selected. Like this, you can set different wallpapers for different modes, and this work for your lock screen as well. Next, if you go to settings, select lock screen and then select notifications. Earlier we had the option to show or hide content in the lock screen. But now with One UI 5.1, you also can decide which apps can show content on the lock screen. Let's say you just want to hide only the WhatsApp notifications on your lock screen. Now you can easily do that. Again, a very useful feature that's been added in One UI 5.1. Another useful feature that I found inside the phone app is when I go to settings, select record calls. Now you get this option to delete all your recordings automatically. So if you really want to save a bit of your phone storage, then you can definitely enable this option. That's pretty much it for this video. These are some amazing One UI 5.1 hidden features that you should definitely start using on your Samsung phone. If you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android, and I will see you guys in the next one.